Hey y'all, this is Church from Church's Intake. So let's get into the reading of his word. Another one. So we're going to go and uh, we're going to stay in 1 John. 1 John got some, some jewels in here. So we're going to go from um, chapter 5, 1 John chapter 5, 6 through 12. And it talks about the witness concerning the son. But it also lets you know that there is three in one, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, which makes one. A lot of people like to get that messed up. Uh, the, the Father, no, no, no. Three making one, Godhead. That's how it goes. We ain't making up scripture here. He says it in First John. Three, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, making one. Got to know that. Let's get into it. This is he that, kind, that came unto water and blood, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the spirit that beareth witness because the spirit is truth. For there is, there are three that bear record in heaven the father the word which is jesus and the holy ghost and these three are one there you go and there are three that bear witness in earth the spirit the water and the blood and these three agree in one if we receive the witness of man, the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God, which he hath testified of his son. He that believeth on his son of on the son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not of believeth not God hath made him a liar because he believeth not the record that God gave of his son given to us eternal life and this life is in the, his son he that hath the son hath life and he that hath not the son of God hath not life God bless the reading of his word so let's talk about that. So obviously, if you don't believe in the son of God, you ain't going to have life. That's what it says in the scripture. Also saying, if you believe in the son of God, that you will have life that is already given to you. What is the witness? The witness is the Holy Spirit. That's two. So you got God that you believe in God. You believe in the father. And you believe in the Holy Ghost. You get the Holy Ghost. Because you believe that the Son will get you to the Father. And the witness will be truth, which is the Holy Spirit, which brings truth to you. If you have the Holy Spirit within you, it brings truth to you. That you can observe these things. And a lot of people be like, oh God, there's no three in one. Actually, it says it right there in 1 John. That there is three in one making one godhead the father the son and the holy spirit they sit on the throne in heaven so that does make one and you got to also understand that this is what we as carnal minded thinkers think like oh no this this that and the third that's a godhead they're all on the throne communing together to tell you and he said even on the earth, there's three in one. The spirit, the, 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 the spirit, the blood and the water. That's what he said on earth. But in heaven, it's way, it's way grander because of God. So a lot of people need to get this three making one. You can call it whatever you want. And you don't want to have to call it a trinity, whatever. We don't even know how it even works. Obviously, we know where they all sit on the throne. There's three chairs on the throne making one Godhead. 
So you can call it a trinity. You can call it whatever you want. But you got to know that the, the father sits in the middle. The son sits on the right and the, the Holy Spirit sits on the left, my man. So if you don't get that, then you don't even know. And first off, we are already thinking in carnal mindset. The way that it, it transgresses is they're all together. They manifest into each other. Now, how would we fathom that? We can't even fathom that because we are in carnal flesh. We think in our carnal mindset. This is spiritual, dog. Three making one. He's trying to tell you a piece of me, just like a bone from the man made the woman. So this is deeper than you think. You don't even know how the Godhead is. It, they all manifest into one, dog. They say they, they commune together as one. One unit. Three in one unit. That's a one. So that's God the Father, God the Son. The Son is a God in flesh and in, in, in spirit. He's the Son of God, which is a God. Y'all better stop playing with Jesus out here, man. Trying to be like he's just a prophet. He's just a prophet. No, he ain't no prophet, dog. He's the Son of Christ, God. He's Christ, your Savior. Man, give him his respect. Because he needs that. He's God. Why do God got to tell you he, he, I'm God? Why when Jesus was out here, he ain't never had to say it. No one no one talk like that. Like no king got to be like, I'm king. Like that, unless you cocky with it. You know what I mean? You should just, by the way you move, you should know that you glory. By the way you, you talk, you should know who you are. You know what I mean? If you a man, if you a man's man, you know you a man's man. You ain't got to go around like this. Oh, I'm a, I'm a man, dog. You ain't going to be, uh, man, you don't move like that. Men don't move like that. Real men, they get away from nonsense, man. Chaos. But you got to know, man, in the spirit, there's three in one. That's where they try to get the Trinity. You can call it whatever you want, but you got to know that these three, this Holy Spirit, which is God, that's God's spirit. <laughs> It's the Holy Spirit, the Son of God, which is Jesus. That's his son. He's on the throne. And then there's God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Father, Son, Holy Ghost, making one. So there's clarification right here in 1 John. I said it once. I'll say it again. 1 John chapter 5, 6 through 12. Read it yourself. Get the gist, man. Learn how to open up this book. Learn how to open up the book, man, and get the word, dog. Stop believing your pastors and such. It doesn't say Trinity, but it does say three in one. So what does that mean? It's a Godhead. It's a Godhead, dog. That's what that means. So uh, I'm going to let that one reside right there, man. That's a key note, man. That's a jewel for y'all to know. You don't have to say Trinity, but we all know that these three operate as one. God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They operate as one. That's why Jesus was like, I ain't do away with the, 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 um, the, uh, the law. I came to fulfill the law. And still, there is the law. He came to fulfill it, dog. But how did he fulfill it? Obviously, you got to have the spirit of Christ, which will show you the truth. And it will keep you from all these laws. If you have the spirit residing in you, man, and you live by the spirit and by faith. All the law is accomplished because Jesus died for the law. He died for your sins. The law will be accomplished. And then you show love to your neighbors. It says, what is the second? What is this? The greatest commandment other than love thy father. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? First, honor God, love God. You know what I mean? All of that. What's the second greatest commandment? Love thy neighbor as thyself. With those two, you will make it. Basically saying with those two, 
having love, operating out of love, peace, and you know what I mean? And showing love, having faith, you know what I mean? Following God with all thy heart, with all thy soul. Come on, man. The Holy Spirit actually helps you out with all those things. So actually, when the Holy Spirit, it's like this. When you have the Holy Spirit within you, you get correction from the door. From the door. Like when something's not right, like you smoke, you drink something that you know you ain't supposed to do. You're going to feel that, man. It's going to feel like your girl left you. It hurts. Because you have the spirit that resides inside of you. So, that being said, love your neighbor as yourself. Love one another, man. Help a neighbor out, man. Those are the ones, the strangers, man. Help the stranger like it's you. And you will grow. And God will love you. You got to show love to prove that you are his. And I'm going to leave that one right there, y'all. Subscribe to Church's Intake. Like and subscribe, dog. We dropping these jewels on this channel. God bless.